You can be biased on commentary. I'm gonna be unbiased. Let's go. Anybody that wins, Let's game go, one. Neku. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care about non, uh, non bias I'm a journalism major. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> um, let's yeah, do. this got awkward really quick. Yeah, yeah I back know, to right? the set. Sorry, uh, that was just a joke. Um, uh, anyway. I do like Neku's use of rabbit jab. It's so fast. I think it's a frame two rabbit jab, so it's super quick. It just stuffs it out. Ooh. You can kind of tell he's a fox player because he's playing like super grounded. You have to against Diddy. He's so good no, at anti I mean, Comet. His Diddy is super grounded. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess it's true that they do both benefit from being grounded like, in this matchup. Just because Fox has up tilt anti air and Diddy has like aerials for anti air. So this is based on who can play the ground game better, which, now that you mentioned it, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yes. Comet anyway, takes the first dog. This is going by really quickly. Yeah, Comet's uh, Diddy isn't super flashy or anything, but it's like by the books and does a lot of cool stuff. Like just there, 33%, just off a grab. Yeah. And then I think Henry oh. missed, missed the grab on that banana. He conditioned him to shield, so he just he knew. So he's going to side beat to him get that command grab. Yeah, Comet showing why he's number one in the state. Oh, that was, that was a good escape. Dangerous, actually. You could have got punished for that farther. Or more. Good up smash. He is 80% down. Let's see if we can do anything about it. Um, something I am noticing about uh, Neku in this matchup is he is getting hit by a lot of, like, bitty things. Just, like, grabs into combos. He just eats a lot of percent for it. But if he can keep the pressure on Diddy, like... Well, he was doing until he overextended. Yeah. Um, he would have so made it back. Game one goes to Comet. I don't think we'll be saving a switch. I, I, I will admit that Nair to up air was actually really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Nair, I feel like Nair is underutilized by a lot of Diddy mains, just in general. Isn't it really good at like catching landings because it's a like lasting hitbox? It, it does last a lot longer than some of his other moves, and it's you can land with it and then combo into stuff, so you can like. But if you're by the ledge, you can do landing there into dare and spike him at like 50 or something. You just kill them. FD. Uh, more ground control. Uh, so. I, don't, I don't know if I like this, to be honest. Like, comments have shown like, his grounding is really good. It's, I mean, I guess this might help like uh, Neku juggle him, but the problem isn't that he has been juggling him. The problem is... <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think what it is, is Neku wants to keep the pressure on him as much as possible. And without platforms, that's actually very good for him because he can just keep on like doing safe uh, you know, aerials, up tilts, and eventually, like he did earlier, doing a uh, forward air footstool. Oh, that was a good angle. Neku showing that he has played melee. I, I do respect that he tried to get the Gimp on Diddy because he did have to use barrels. Look at all this pressure. Yeah, no. Drag down. Oh my goodness. It's still going. Like, without it platforms. never stops. Yeah, without platforms, he just can't land. Ooh. Of course, yeah. the same could be said. I, I, I basically count that as an SD, to be honest. I mean, it was, it was good awareness on, like, uh, on like, Thomas part to get that Gimp, but Negro should not have been there. All right. Down and up smash, true. And that's game took one out of one minute and 15 seconds. It's honestly a very volatile matchup. Yeah, and I think both these players are like both going quite aggressive. Oh yeah. The last game wasn't that long either. Okay, yeah, we saw the switch. Oh, maybe he's taking him somewhere like... Okay, sounds good. Wait. I was going to say Battlefield, but this but is wait. also a good stage. Comment one on this stage. Did they... I'm not sure what the DSR rules are for this tournament. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust that combo comments is doing is perfectly legal. I'm gonna trust that they probably gentlemen's do it. That's probably what happened. That's fair. So let's see. Neku is up, but this can go either way. Because yeah. once someone gets a combo going, it's hard to like stop. Especially because they're both fast fallers. Yeah. 
Oh, he tried for it. Just slightly misspaced. That down air hit him. I was surprised, actually. Ooh, and that's Neku up. He's gotten a lot of stocks like that. Just run up out smash. This is actually one of the fastest sets I've ever seen in any game. Oh, that was a slick ledge yeah, trump. That, that was great. Even game. Yeah, I, I'm guessing what happened there is he didn't want to up tilt, risk missing the up tilt, so he just went for the safer option. Oh, get him? Ooh, oh. That, was, that wall jump was great. That first back was also great. Up there, up there. Yep. yep. Oh my gosh, he almost died of that. Oh wow. Oh my god. That dash tag was a mess if, up, if but it got had, him. If, if that had been an up B instead of like a. Oh. Instead of an up air, that would be. Oh, that oh was almost god. it. This is the best of three, so this is actually very close. Oh my god. He got oh, the spinning animation and he got the read and didn't follow through. Oh my god. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he got the sour hitbox. Uh oh, disadvantage. This is so close. Oh. No, that was a bad side B. Yeah. He was so close, dude. Yeah, that was not good. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Fox.